PKU is where you're born without or lacking an enzyme, pH enzyme that breaks down phenylalanine, which is one of 20 amino acids in a protein. So in general, I just can't eat a lot of protein. And there's a lot of restrictions and there's dietary formulas I have to drink to get the proper nutrition in my diet that I don't get otherwise. It's mainly important for the different time ranges that you would go off your diet. So whenever your brain is developing, that's when you're most vulnerable to having bad effects happen. So if you had a lot of protein, um, there's the, the blood-brain barrier, and the phenylalanine that I can't break down because of my enzyme, it builds up in my bloodstream, and when it crosses there, it causes havoc in my brain, especially, I think, the frontal lobe. So a lot of organizational skills, um, various other things that... Attention deficit disorder seems to be a common theme for a lot of people who have this disorder. I was two days old when my parents were notified that I had PKU, which they had no idea what it was. I was sent to UK here at the hospital uh, when I was two and uh, was uh, assessed by Dr. Charles Mabry, um, who has since retired. And he got me on the path to where I am today. My parents had to stay in the hospital two weeks to learn how to take care of me. And then just sent me home so I could learn, my parents could learn how to live my life. Uh, of course, when I was born, it's uh, diet only. I mean, that's pretty much the only way to control it. Had to watch what you eat, count everything you eat. I've done that all my life. It, it, it's always really neat to, you know, when you're a child, as you're growing up, you know, you think you're alone. And then to go to camp or to come to the clinic and see other kids or adults, in our case, that have it, you know, it, it, it does do something for you. It, it makes you feel like you're not alone. It, it, it's just a lifelong process that um, you have to endure. And, you know, the as I've gotten older, I know I talked to Dr. Mabry before he retired. He told me, he said, you know, you're, you're getting older now, you know, you're in your 30s. And, he, and I said, what about, you ever think the possibility of going off the diet? He said, well, let me put it like this. He said, we really don't have anybody that's on this, that has PKU in their 50s. 60s, 70s that have been treated. And he said, if you go off your diet now, you know, he said, we don't know what that would do to you, so why would you want to take that chance? So that's what I've always lived by.